This is an example of an arcade board. This is what you'd find if you opened up an old arcade machine. Originally, when arcades were first introduced, if an arcade owner wanted to change the game in one of their cabinets, they'd have to replace the entire cabinet, which obviously wasn't very convenient. So the Japanese Amusement Machine Manufacturers Association invented a standard called JAMA, which is this edge connector here. So this provides the power for the board, the video coming out, and also all the controller inputs. And this was useful for arcade owners because it meant if they wanted to change the game, they just took out this board and they put in a new one because they were all standardized. The JAMA standard was good for arcade owners, but also it's good for us because now we can buy arcade boards off eBay and we just need one of these, which is called a super gun, to play them on our televisions. So basically they connect to the JAMA connector. You can provide your own controllers like this one. This is uh, the connection to the TV. This is a SCART connector. This is a European standard. And also, obviously, power. This one is powered by a normal PC power supply. But that's one of the problems of it. It's big, it's bulky, and it has so many wires. So I thought, instead of having loads of wires, it'd be much easier just to make a PCB, which is what I did here. And instead of the big PC power supply, I instead use one of these laptop power supplies and a DC to DC converter. So this is a single-sided PCB because I wanted it to be easy for uh, hobbyists to make at home. The only bit where I've sort of cheated is that I've kind of made it double-sided by having this board on top. Although you could do it just with wires. So there you have it, a mini super gun. This took about 10 hours to make, that takes about one.